so back when I was 12, I watched this anime called Vampire Night, and uh, let's just get started. Released in 2008, Vampire Night was a 26 episode anime based on the manga written by Matsuri Hino. I rewatched most of it for the purpose of this video, and to be honest, I still like it. This is 2020 Jugo Young saying this, and I still like Vampire Night. Ever since I was a kid, I was always into monsters and stuff. Vampires, werewolves, shit. I just like things that turn into other things. So of course when I started watching anime around 5 or 4 years ago, I had to look for some vampire anime, you know what I'm saying? And nowadays me being the seasoned anime veteran I am, a true weeb you could say, <laughs> fuck. But nowadays I'm put onto anime like Helsing Ultimate or Rosario Vampire, but back then the only thing I could find on Netflix was Vampire Night, and its sequel Vampire Night Guilty. And boy, it sure was a vampire anime. Let's let's get started with the review, man. So the plot of Vampire Night is kinda complicated, but not really. The anime takes place in a boarding school called Cross Academy, but it's not your ordinary boarding school. By day, humans are doing their normal human school shit, but by night, it's a vampire school. So to break it down, this anime is just a high school romance anime, but with vampires. Yeah. There's also the aspect of the main character Yuki wanting to make a place where vampires and humans can get along. But can vampires and humans get along? No. But anyway, you got the main character girl Yuki, who if I'm being honest is kinda mid, and she's the daughter of the principal. Then you got her two love interests, Zero and Kaname. So Zero is this mysterious vampire hunter guy whose whole family was killed by a vampire when he was young, but he goes to a vampire boarding school which is kinda weird, and aside from Yuki, he's the only other student who knows about the day students not being Wait, fuck. Who knows about the night students being vampires? The rest of the day students just know them as the Peng night class students that sparkle and shit like that. Now to contrast that, Kanme is basically this alpha leader of the vampire niggas. He's tall and has black hair and is a vampire, but for some reason he wants this mid-human girl. Now that's just crazy. Back when I was a kid, I always thought that Kanme was a huge dumbass, and I still think he is. Bro could have had any of them paying vampire gal, but bro chose her. Mad. Also, Kaname saved Yuki from a vampire when she was a little kid, but he most definitely was not a little kid back then, but now he wants to hit? Kinda sus. But now that we're on the topic of the other vampires, they're kinda cool, I guess. Yo, no cap, this nigga is sexy as hell. Nah, you're sus, you're sus. Even without the context of them being vampires, they're still pretty cool. Like every time they showed up in the earlier episodes, it was kind of lit. And as I mentioned before, some of them are baddies. Two dimensional drawings, but they're still bad. The whole love aspect was alright, I guess. This is a romance shoujo high school drama anime, so I do have to talk about it. And yeah, it's good enough. It was obvious she wasn't going to get with any of the other vampires, but I genuinely didn't know she'd end up with Kaname or Zero. And the ending did actually surprise me. It also pissed me off. The two seasons don't adapt the entirety of the manga so I don't know if the ending is canon, but I'm a lazy bastard so until I read the manga I'm gonna assume it is, and it's shit. The art style is just your basic early 2000s shoujo anime style. Every character has huge sparkling eyes and some of them have weirdly large hands but they're all hot. And the action in this anime, eh, it's, it's serviceable. Not bad but it's not that good. But at the same time who the fuck is watching Vampire Knight for its top tier fight scenes? Are you dumb? One thing that I cannot stress enough, especially if you're watching the English dub, is that this shit can get very cringy. I remember being a kid and fucking burying my face in the pillow just because of the utter corniness of some of the lines. But it's kind of endearing in a way. It's charming. Not necessarily in a so bad it's good way, but more like it's a product of its time. Maybe it's just the nostalgia, but even though it's cringy, I still kind of liked it, so it is what it is. They really use the high school setting to their advantage because a lot of shit happens in this boarding school. Even if it's just for comedic reasons, I like that this shit feels like a plot revolving around the school, not just some story that happens to take place in high school. And on the topic of comedy, this shit is low-key funny. I don't want to think that nostalgia is clouding my judgement, but at this point I feel like it has to be because I'm enjoying this anime way more than I think I should be. I mean. It's not the funniest shit I've seen, but this show got a few genuine chuckles out of me. A couple ha ha's, like the real ones. Also, I really like the two openings. And once again, this might just be nostalgia, but it's still as good as I remember it being. Even just the background music is pretty good, which isn't really special, but still, it's something to note. But uh, let's talk about the plot again. I know I mentioned the ending being shit, 
but overall just the later episodes in the series were noticeably worse. In the beginning there are a lot of mysteries and intriguing stuff going on, but it's completely fumbled later on in the series. Without saying spoilers, a lot of it felt anticlimactic and it just didn't deliver if I'm being honest. And this is something even nostalgia can't help. Even back when I was a kid I could see that the show was just getting worse, and they did a pretty bad job of wrapping it up. Like, I can't see how anyone could have genuinely been happy with how it ended, seriously. But, and this is a big but right here, pause, but I still think that you should give it a chance. That's if you're interested in this shit of course. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that it's the best romance drama high school anime you've ever seen, cause it really isn't, especially when there's stuff like Beastars out there. But if you're interested in vampires and shit, or you're a teenage girl, then you'll probably like this. And if you watched this anime and liked it, then another anime you might be interested in is Horror High School Host Club. I mean, I liked it, and I wasn't 12 when I watched it. But uh, that's a video for another day, bruh. Peace out. Only thing I gotta say is go watch the video I just posted on Fantasy Star Online too. I mean, the video before this one. It only has like 47 views, and if it doesn't get at least 60 soon, I'm gonna kill myself. No, I'm not. Fuck.